it's almost Halloween and what better way to celebrate than to create a creepy fiery pumpkin effect with a photograph using a Photoshop action. I'm Marie Gardner for Envato Tuts Plus and I'm going to show you how to create this effect with an Envato Elements action for Adobe Photoshop. This is a stock image so you can follow along, it's from Pexels and you'll need to have installed the action before you can use it. This is an action called Rise from Envato Elements and you can see it's got four options but before we run one of those we're going to need to create a layer called Brush in all lowercase and that should be above your background layer. On that layer you're going to paint over the pumpkin in any colour using a hard brush. You can use a quick selection tool to select it and paint over it if that's easier or you can do it quite roughly like I'm doing now and then just tidy it up later. Like I mentioned before you've got four options bottom to top, top to bottom, left to right and right to left and that's just the direction that the effect is going to come in from so because she's holding the pumpkin here I'm going to have the effect come in from the bottom so hopefully it's going to look like the fire is coming up from underneath the picture. So hit bottom to top and run the action and then be prepared to wait a little while particularly on a high resolution image which is what I'd always recommend that you run actions on. When it's finished running you'll see it's a little bit rough and the overall effect can be a little bit overpowering. It's broken down into loads of layers though so there's tons of adjustments that you can make. The first thing we'll start with is to hide the background colour. That's going to bring in more detail from the original image. So you can see the arms have come back into the picture there a little bit more. If I flip some of these on and off you can see what they do. These are overall adjustments, things like colour, brightness, saturation. So we can leave those for now and take a look at the rise folder, which is the actual effect. I'll flip these off and on and you can see the various effects that they have. So they're broken down logically, some relate to the colour and some relate to the actual fire effects. Things like the little bits of embers that you can see around the pumpkin and then the glow and particle effects. So it's all built up layer on layer so you can start to work on those to either reduce the effect or make it stronger. You can paint over the masks with a soft low opacity brush and gradually change the effect of that layer in a more targeted way. When you've gone through the effect options and you're happy with it then you can start to look at the adjustments folder. As well as contrast, brightness and so on you'll see a number of colour options as well, cooler ones like greens and blues and then warmer purples and reds. You can use these together if you want to so you can mix and match them and select what looks best. Here I want to offset the fire a little bit by bringing in some cooler tones. When you're happy with the colour you can select both folders and then lower the opacity to reduce the effect and bring back more of the original image. Personally I think it's a Halloween picture so you should go mad with the effect and have it full whack but um, if you're a little bit more subtle than I am then maybe you want to dial it back just a little bit. And there we have it, a very cool fiery pumpkin effect for Halloween. Thank you for watching and look out for more tutorials from all of us here at Envato Tuts Plus.